Hello YouTube land. Here we are back at Adobe Illustrator 2023 once again. I have opened up Adobe Illustrator 2023 and clicked on the learn menu right here. So let's see what else we can do today. The last one we worked on was the logo. I believe if I click over here, I'll find that, which is right here. Mine I don't think was very good. So, I mean, it wasn't, it was okay. It could be better. I'm sure you make a very nice logo, right? <laughs> and that's the whole thing is that it's okay not to be perfect. Just practice. So, this one is Enhance Your Logo. So let's click on that one. This one is a tutorial that's created by Brian Wood, which I believe he did the other logo tutorial. Let's make sure and read this assets information below. Assets can only be used in this tutorial and are sample files per Adobe's Terms of Use. You will need to buy a license to use the assets for other purposes. Some of the assets may be available for license on Adobe Stock. Check the Asset Copyright Notice for more information. Okay. Now this tutorial is called Enhance Your Logo. It's a hands-on tutorial for beginner five minutes long. Of course, it'll be a little longer by creating a video about it. Now you'll bring your logo to life by making precise adjustments and applying color skillfully in this second tutorial of the Make a Logo series. All right, here we go. Start tutorial, yeah. <coughs> Now these are your assets, everything that's in here. So that's what they were talking about. Now I have this on top of everything. This is the work area. This is an example. All right, I'm gonna set this right here for a moment. Duplicating a shape. Start refining the logo art by adding one final piece to the B. Pay attention here. Okay. All right. We opened a new sample file for you. I see that. <clears throat> All right. Select the selection tool and click the red line to select it in the work area. Again, when you see the bolded words together selection tool, that is the actual name of the tool that is over here in these list of tools. And if you click on this little question mark, as soon as I can click on it correctly, there we are. It'll show you where it is, and then when you click on the tool, it will show you, it will show a square around the tool. That is a black square, and then some more information here about the tool. Okay, we can click learn more. If I click on that, it'll have more information about this tool. However, that's not what I want to work with at the moment. Now, no fear. This is in another tab. It opened a tab right here. The one we were in is right here. Click on that tab. And then we can cancel. Let me see. Hold on. Click. Let me see what they did. There we go, continue, okay. 
If I click continue and I go back to this tab, then I'm right where I was. So now I have this tool, the selection tool right here on my mouse. That's what my mouse is now, is the selection tool. And so I have that and click on the red line. Okay, we're going to click on the red line just like that. Okay, it's not, oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Sometimes I click on the mouse, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's just me. All right. Number two, choose edit copy and then choose edit paste in front to put a copy on top. So what you're doing is you're creating, like it shows right here, a copy of the square or rectangle rather, the red rectangle. You're creating a copy that's going to end up sitting on top of this copy this particular one. So we'll have two of them. So we're going to click, now that this is highlighted, click edit. We'll just do it the way they have listed there. Edit, copy, and then edit, paste in front, edit, paste in front. Okay. And then three, click, select the rotate tool. Rotate is right there. Just like this show in here. So click this tool. Make sure I'm going to right click and make sure I have rotate right there. And then number four, click once on the left end of the line. You just set the reference point and the line will rotate around where you click. So, they want you to click on the end here. Just one time. If you click once, you're choosing that particular point so that it rotates from that corner, okay? So then, you drag the right end of the line up so the angle of the line matches the angle of the dashed orange line as shown right there. <clears throat> so now that I've clicked on there, I'm going to click again and, uh-oh, why did it do that? Uh-oh. I have it. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I did it backwards, didn't I? <sighs> We're going to go back. Yeah, that one went on the other side. Huh, interesting. Oh, click there. Click there. Yeah, we're on the other side. All right. So what I can do is, oops, okay, put that back. Go back here. So if I, I can go back up here like this, right? Then I can go, oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to, oops, I was supposed to do that one. Uh-oh. I think what I'll do is go up here and I'll just go back to where I was. And this is what you can do. You know, you just go backwards. So you undo, you undo again, click edit undo, and you go back to where you started. And you're like, oh no, okay, wait, I gotta click on this side. So you click on this side. Now first, look at what tool you have. The best way you know what tool you have is to go over here on the left side and see which one is highlighted with the black box. Right click on it and you see where you're at. You have the rotate tool. Okay. I'm going to click on that just to close it. Now this time I'm going to click on this side. Uh-huh. And I'm going to 
move it like that. Look at that. So by selecting that, you can click anywhere to move it, but you want to pivot from this corner, so that's why you click there. See? So you can make a mistake and not, ma not worry. Oh, it went everywhere, and that's fine. It's okay to make mistakes. All right, so let's click Next. That was fun. All right, so making final art tweak. Art tweaks. <laughs> Refining the art is a big part of logo design. <clears throat> All right. Now you'll make some minor adjustments to polish your logo. One, select the selection tool, which I think, oh, no, back at the top. Okay, back to the selection tool. Two, drag the selected red line up to the center. Hold on. Drag the selected red line up by the center blue point until its center roughly aligns with the orange dash. So we want it to be centered. It's still selected, which is fine. Oops. Try again. Okay. Now we're going to go leave it right there. Kind of like, uh, there we go. Mm. I can move it over just a little bit forward. Hmm. Mm. Either way, I don't know, I guess that looks all right. I think it's a little off. I'm a little picky about everything looking perfect. I just like that. I get that little DNA from my dad. I have to tweak things to be just right. And, but it's hard to do with a mouse, you know. Um, And if you click on it a couple times, you end up unselecting it. Then you have to click on it again to reselect it. And that's okay. Just practice. That's all this is about. And boy, am I going all over the place because my hand is just not being steady. It's going everywhere. So I'm going to leave it right there. It's going to stay right there. Okay. Click on the black shape below the red lines. Press the option or alt. We're going to press alt. And then <clears throat> drag the right edge until it's as wide as the red line above it. Release the mouse and then the key. Pressing the Option Alt key while scaling a shape transforms it from the center rather than point rather than the point you drag from. Okay, so let's see what it's doing here. Right. That's it? Hmm. Alright. So we want to press Alt, pull it in a little, that's fine. Uh, what do we want to do with it? Until it's as wide as, okay. Well, I mean, is it? I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> it looks as wide. Let's go to the next page can always change anything. This one's lined up real nice, huh? <laughs> okay. Switching stroke and fill. Now, let's swap the fill and stroke colors for some elements to see if we like the look. So, number one. Click the bee's wing to select it, which is right here. Make sure I have the selection tool. Click it. 
and it's selected. Two. Click fill click swap fill and stroke toward the bottom of toolbar on the left. It looks like a little curved arrow and is above the stroke and fill boxes. Uh, click swap fill and stroke toward the bottom of the toolbar. <laughs> Say what? Wait, what? Click, swap, fill, and stroke toward the bottom of the toolbar in the left. That's not... This is... Okay, hold on. Swap, fill, and stroke toward the bottom of the toolbar on the left. It looks like a little curved arrow. And is above the stroke and fill boxes. Here's the stroke and fill boxes. And... Now this is, well, I'm confused. What, what are you asking me? No, um, no, no, no. And this, which they have here. Swap them means that, um, oh, the, oh, I know what they're talking about. Stupid me. Yeah, I know what they're talking about. Okay. All right. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. Okay. So the inside is filled. The outside is, and the filled is pure one color, in this case, black. The stroke color is not there because it has a red line there so there's no stroke color down here on the left side it shows the two the one on the top is the full color the one on the bottom is the stroke color what they want you to do is click on that to swap it and that means that the one on the top will be empty okay just like the stroke was empty so now the fill color is empty and then the stroke will be black which will be the the outside rim area trim and so that's going to be black now so that's what the that's what toward the bottom of the toolbar on the left means is this little tiny arrow right here you're swapping those two okay and that's how you do that so now what they want you to do is to make the stroke weight thicker in the properties panel properties is bolded so that means right here this particular panel this is a panel and this is properties and because this is selected all of this relates to this right here. So make the stroke weight thicker in the properties panel by choosing a value like 20 from the stroke weight menu. Weight is going to mean how thick it is. So we're going to pick 20 pixels, PX pixels, right? And so that's going to make it 20. See how thick it is? And that's what stroke is, is the line all the way around. <clears throat> and then four, click the word stroke in the properties panel and select align stroke to inside option as shown. So we click on stroke and then align stroke right here. And then Let's see, align stroke to inside option, which is the center. That's what they want. Okay, align stroke to inside. Click. All right. So what that means is 
When you have a, a drawing area, you can have the outside of the line or the inside of the line. In this case, the inside of the line. Okay, if that makes sense, I think that makes sense. So, five is practice swapping the fill and stroke by selecting the rotated square and performing the steps in this section. So if I click the square right here, and I do the same thing. I can swap it down here, right? I'm swapping those two by clicking on that little arrow, double arrow curve right there. Then I can go down here and I can click on one of these. I don't know, let's click 15, right? And then when we click 15, let's click on this and let's click the outside. Look, that's the outside of that line. That's the inside of the line. And that's the line itself. So we'll go back to the inside. How's that? Okay. And we have it set at 15. Now that's smaller than the other one. The other one set at 20. And this one set at 15. All right. So if we set this one at 20, it'll be the same size as that one. Okay, if we click inside this space, it'll close that. There we go. All right, we're just gonna do that for now. We're gonna click Next. All right, now we're gonna start applying brand colors. Next, you'll start applying colors from the B Bly, B Blee, B Bly, B Bly brand to the lines in the logo art. Okay, so use the example artwork on the right side of the document for color ideas. One, click one of the red lines to select the red line. So I'm going to make this smaller. There we go. Okay, put that right there. So they want you to click the red line. I don't have anywhere to put this. I'm going to set it right there. Okay, here's some colors that they're using over here. So click the red line to select it. Mm, which one? Click one of them. It doesn't matter. So we'll click the top one. I, I clicked one to unselect that one. I click again to select that one. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to set it right over here. <laughs> I can't set it anywhere to see it. Let me try this. Let me see if I can move this over a little bit. <coughs> Upwards like that. There we go. How's that? <laughs> there we go. All right. Make that a little smaller in the middle. Okay. So we select this line. And all the information about that line is over here supposedly but we have it swapped see just see this right over here even though I selected that it's still swapped I didn't swap it back I have to click on this little arrow and that'll swap it back let me click it back again uh oh what happened oh I lost my line uh oh I don't know what I did so let's do this we're going to undo, and then we're going to undo again, and we're just going to keep that selected, just like that. So, click one of the red lines to select it. All right, I did. Click the red box to the left of the word stroke in the properties panel. Now, this one has it just like this, see? All right, so... See, which one did it choose? It chose that one. Well, what we're going to do then is we're going to choose that one. How about that? Okay. Click a color in the color group. Look for the little folder containing the brand colors. Okay. Click the red box to the left stroke. Okay, click that. Nope, wrong box. Click the actual box itself. There we go. 
Okay, now these are custom colors. How do you know that? Because they have that little tiny white triangle right there. Those are all custom colors. Color group. So what they've done here is selected the first one. So we'll do that just like that. Click a color in the color group right there. And when they say little folder, that's that little tiny icon right there. Okay, and that those are the brand colors. Now, click to select the other red one, red line. Whoops, okay, and select that by clicking. Now we click on this one. Click again. Ah, here we go. Click again. I'm trying to select. There we go. It, it took a bit to click in the right spot. Don't worry. Just keep doing it. Uh, it takes practice. And then practice by changing the stroke colors of the rotated square and the bee's wing. Well, we're going to just we're gonna choose the other one. Click right there. Um, let's choose, I don't know, instead of green, let's choose pink. How's that? <laughs> there we go. We'll just choose pink. Or should we make it like this one? It doesn't really matter. We'll make it like this one. See how good we can make it. <laughs> now, I'm going to click over here to let close that. Okay. Then I'm going to click next. Then I'm going to click one of the black filled half circles. Okay, I'll click down here. All right, and then click the fill color box in the properties panel. Click any color in the color group containing the brand colors. All right, so we click the fill box. These are the brand colors. We'll choose that yellow. Okay. Now practice changing the fill color of the other half circle. This one up here. Okay. It says orange. All right. Let's pick orange. That's fine. But we got to pick the orange down here because those are the brand colors. That looks lighter than that one. But those are given to us. So, all right. So we're going to click next. Now, oh, no, click next again. Now, my first click, when I click next, close the menu. My second click is going to move to the next section. <clears throat> okay, I got to finish the logo. So I'm going to click here. And then that's, this is a stroke color because it has an inside that's empty and the outside that's like that. And so this would be this color right here. And they chose pink. So we're going to choose pink, which is right there. I'm going to click over here. Then I'm going to click this one, right, which is that one. We'll move this over. We have that selected. That again is a stroke color because of that right there. The way the inside's empty. So that'll be blue. There we go. Then we'll click over here and then we're going to click select, deselect. So none of them are selected. Now we're on the next page. Keep the logo art together. With your logo finished, you can group the logo art. Grouping makes it easy to grab the logo all at once to move, copy, and transform it. One, drag across all of the parts of the logo to select them. So first, make sure you have the selection tool, which they show, right? Then Grab all the way across, just like that. You make sure all of them are selected. When you do that, 
there <laughs> this will be real confused because you have more than one selection so it doesn't have anything you know it's <laughs> the information's all confusing uh, number two in the quick action section of the properties panel which is down here click group all right and that'll be clearing it up now it says group right and then it says that dashed orange line won't be a part of the group because it is locked in place and you can't select it yeah that's part of a template that's not that's on a separate layer so that won't be part of the group there you go you selected it click next now like I said this will be some other information I'm not quite sure see it has question marks because there are several different colors so you have to choose each one individually for the appearance part to change um, and we'll go over all of these as we learn more about them so no big deal click next and there you go so there it is select and deselect yeah so if I click on the hand and I click on the logo the whole thing should move together oh no wait no that's the whole unit if I click on let me see is it this one? Oh no that's not it no, no, no. So undo move. Okay. Now let me see. If I click on, then I can. Yeah, there we go. Do it like that. Yeah. Just click around and have fun. <laughs> That's the whole idea. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, that was fun. So close that so there you go and please like comment subscribe and spread the word let's have some fun with Adobe Illustrator 2023 and make some logos and have some fun talk to you later bye